Hi, I'm Yossi Zaykan, founder of Kesser Wine, Joseph Zaykan Winery, from Brengen Wine and Cellar Wine. I started my winery in 1981. At that time, I was the youngest person in the United States to actually have a bonded winery. This year, I went to my son's class and taught the eighth grade how to make wine from beginning to end. The first thing we did was we went and we bought the grapes from the market from uh, special wine grapes called Cabernet Sauvignon and uh, one box, and the other box was a box of Sangiovese. And we brought it to the classroom and each kid received a plastic container, a 96 ounce container. And they were told to take the grapes off the stems and fill that container. Once they filled the bottles with the grapes, they took a cap and closed the bottle with the cap and they didn't tighten until the end they just closed it and allowed for air to escape during the process of fermentation we put the bottles away in their classroom in their closet in the closet there each bottle was sealed enough that if you open the seal it would spill if you don't open the seal just the oxygen would release itself and the wine and the grapes were sitting there for 30 days and the juices within each grape was fermenting during that time and turning into wine. Then the kids were fortunate enough to be able to visit an actual winery. This is the largest kosher winery run by the Herzog family. And here you can see how, they, the, how the grapes are processed in a totally different environment where they are crushing and pressing 2,000 pounds of grapes at a time and this huge, they, they get picked in the fields by machines and brought to the winery and dumped into the, these huge crushers and then pressed and put into these large tanks which can hold close to 50,000 gallons of grape juice at a time and then that grape juice is fermented and turned into wine. Now you will see how the children took the grapes out of their bottles, poured them all into a five gallon pail, and a lot of juice has been, uh, you know, during the fermentation, a lot of juice has escaped from the grapes on their own, just from the weight of the grapes sitting one on top of each other, yet there's also a lot of juice within the grapes. And we're gonna take these grapes and put them through a home juicer that anyone can have buy at home and use for home juicing. However, I modified it in one sense not to allow the juicer to grind the skins or the seeds because that will impart a bitter flavor on the wine and we don't want to have any bitter flavors in the wine. So I removed this, the, the cap of the one part of the juicer, attached the pipe so that the skin should be able to continue to flow freely as the juice, as it's pressing the juice. It is not pressing them very tightly, their skins are still coming out wet. However, I'd rather sacrifice a little less juice than having the bitterness of grinding skins or seeds and this works a little quicker than the old-fashioned hand press. Then we took the, the wine that was pressed and we put it all into one five-gallon bottle and I explained to the children how this wine, although it looks very cloudy and has a lot of uh, lees and shmarim, what we call all that will settle down to the bottom and the top of the, and the wine will become clean and clear on its own. Now as the wine was sitting for another 30 days in the classroom and settling down and the leaves were settling down to the bottom, I came, this, we racked the top of the wine off the leaves and the top was pretty clear but yet not crystal clear. So we added a fining agent. And the best fining agent I find to use for red wines is egg white. We used about a half an egg, maybe a little bit more. You can use a little bit more depending on, on the wine that you're making, on how strong the wine is, the, the color is. And we blended in that egg white into the wine that we took off the leaves off the shmarim. And we're going to let it sit now for another, till basically, till we're ready to bottle it. At this point, the children were fortunate enough to have another trip to take them to the actual wine, to the winery and see how wine is being bottled. And watch the wines that were made either last year or two years ago or three years ago 
being bottled at high speed at about 60 bottles a minute and running not only one bottle of wine but many bottles of wines so that we can service the many Jewish communities with kosher wine and grape juice for the holidays. Now the final day came where the children are going to be able to take the wine that they helped make by removing the grapes from the stem and watching it ferment in their classroom, actually be able to filter with a very light filtration and bottle it, cork it and seal it and then put on the label that the children themselves made. This is a bottle of wine that the children bottled cork, sealed, and labeled. And I would like to wish each and every one of you l'chaim, and we should be zaycha to drink from the Yain HaMeshumer this year and eat, eat the carbon Pesach in Yerushalayim, Yerakadish, with Mashiach Tzidkeinu. Lech Hayim.